Good morning. Our entrance hand upon for the Saturday in the fifth uh, week of Easter. You have been buried with Christ in baptism, through which you have also rose again by faith in the working of God, who raised him from the dead. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who through the regenerating power of baptism have been pleased to confer on us heavenly life, grant, we pray, that those you render capable of immortality by justifying them may, by your guidance, attain the fullness of glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul reached also Derby and Lystra, where there was a disciple named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. The brothers in Lystra and Iconium spoke highly of him, and Paul wanted him to come along with him. On account of the Jews of that region, Paul had him circumcised, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they traveled from city to city, they handed on to the people for observance the decisions reached by the apostles and presbyters in Jerusalem. Day after day, the churches grew stronger in faith and increased in number. They traveled through the Phrygian and Galatian territory because they had been prevented by the Holy Spirit from preaching the message in the province of Asia. When they came to Mysia, they tried not to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. So they crossed through Mysia and came down to Tross. During the night, Paul had a vision. A Macedonian stood before him and implored him with these words, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we sought passage to Macedonia at once, concluding that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Let, Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us, his we are, his people, the flock he tends. Let, Let all the earth, earth cry out to God, God with joy. The Lord is good, his kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Let, Let all the earth, earth cry out to God, God with joy. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. <coughs> Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, realize that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, the world would love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you, no slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my word, they will also keep yours. And they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In one sense, the gospel is not very consoling today because, as Jesus says, if they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. Now, we stand with Jesus, united in one, in our belief in his power to save us, and indeed in our desire to do the Father's will. And as a result, we will come into conflict with those who belong to this world. We as believers, well, we have this earthly pilgrimage, but we do not belong to this world. And what we fear most, if we really listen to Jesus, is those who can, well, not only kill the body, but those who could kill the soul. Because the persecution, if it does ravage us as a human being, and yet we remain faithful to the Lord Jesus Christ in his way, well, it does not touch our innermost being where we have that personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Now, if we lose our way and don't hang on to that belief and that personal relationship with Jesus, then the body and the soul come to be destroyed. And we will spend, well, that eternity not with him in the heavenly dwelling, but in Gehenna. And the whole matter is really that we strive in all of these worldly ways, to be faithful knowing that we will share with him eternal life in the heavenly kingdom. This earthly pilgrimage of ours is only but for a time, but it's all aimed towards our ability to be with him in that eternal joy of the heavenly kingdom. Taking comfort in the Lord's mercy, let us offer to him our prayers and petitions. For those who are discerning a vocation to the service of the church through priesthood or religious life, may the Holy Spirit's gifts of fortitude and wisdom guide them in their decision making. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public office, May the Lord help them face the challenges of their duties with patience and discretion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For young people gathered here, may the Lord make known his will for them as they seek their life's meaning and purpose. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a swift end to the coronavirus pandemic that afflicts our world, that God will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us all to persevere in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Dennis Hanrahan, Richard Berry, may they be welcomed into paradise by the risen Christ. And for the intentions of this Mass, Dolores Black, Otto and Ann Mueller, and Mike and Helen Sharkey. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold silently in our hearts, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We join in our vocation prayer. God, our Father, we beg you for an increase in religious vocations. Help our people offer their lives in service to you. Let them hear your Spirit's invitation and awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and consecrated religious. As we entrust to your care, all who seek to do your will, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation. For your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, which earth is given in human hands and made. Become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Accept in compassion, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to allow you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever leads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. 
we may be we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. our communion and a fun. Father, I pray for them that they may be one in us so that the world may believe it was you who sent me, says the Lord. Alleluia. I invite you now to join me in praying our prayer for a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.